I'm going to show you the uh, my lathe tool channel blooper there. Uh, hey, I'm going to show you the uh, my lathe tool freestyle uh, today. Uh, I got a little longer piece here, as I was talking about in one of my earlier videos. I got a really nice piece of oak here at the bottom that I use as a spinning wheel leg. I like this shape so much, I decided to go ahead and make a spinning wheel out of cherry with the same design. I love this design right here, so we're going to duplicate that a little longer piece. I wanted to show you how that's going to how that's going to roll with uh, with my lathe tool freestyle here. I love this thing for setup and breakdown. Without further ado, we'll get right to it. And yeah, I don't have my thing set up just right, so we're gonna we're just gonna start right here. This is my ten and end, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. And I'm gonna size that later with a little bit more accurately with a ten because I need that to fit just right my my spinning wheel table. So we started right here with our shape. Like I said, I've already, I already chewed this uh, nice cherry blank down quite a bit because, uh, well, who gets excited about somebody running a gouge over a big old piece of cherry? So I kind of do it in a bad way. I, I, I like to try to save this wood as much as I can, but on the other hand, make a spinning wheel. It's going to last several life, uh, lifetimes, more than likely. I don't mind doing that. A little bit deeper here. I'm saving my really deep cut for towards the end because your thinnest part of your spindle obviously is going to be your weak leak in the chain, so I'm not going to go real deep until I'm ready for that final that final shape, and that's when I'll plunge in and go down to my my small diameter. Once we get this overall shape done, it's pretty long. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of resonance in the middle, as you would anyway. That work down. Take lighter cuts, start getting some frequency feedback. Yeah, just like a cut right there. You know, we're going laterally, we're still going to have a little bit of vibration. This piece is pretty long, a couple feet, just about. And, uh, you're going to get a little wood flex on this uh, cherry, and you're going to get, but yeah, that's still getting to be a pretty nice finish here. Not too bad. Let's continue on here. I'm liking it. just a little bit loose here. I think that's where we get some chatter. I'm going to tighten that down. Hmm, interesting. Let's try that again. Oh, right. oh yeah. That's better. That's cleaning up. You know what? My, uh, I think my, uh, with heavy cutting, I, my, uh, my spur of my headstock dug in a little bit more, and then the overall turning went loose. I should have checked that before. 
I know better, but I'm excited about talking to you guys, so showing you what my lathe tool can do, so I'm missing the obvious sometimes. I need to focus a little bit more here. I'm going to go down here. I'm going down the lighter cut, so I'm going to reach through the bottom, so I want to make sure my sizing is just about right. Right through the end here. I'm going to make a beautiful spinning wheel leg with a, with a table. Oh, that's really cool. I love that shape. I mean, does that remind you of, of pretty or not? I like it so. Oh, that's looking good. That's going to clean up really nice. And yeah, that's pretty quick. I don't know how long I've been at it, but what, maybe five minutes? And I can live with that. And it's still a lot quicker to me, anyway, than uh, doing a lot of sizing and stuff. But I want this to be pretty accurate. I'm going to do my, like I said before, I'm going to do my tenon end here uh, with another tool. I won't show you that. I'm, I'm bragging about this right now, but uh, yeah. See what that looks like. My late tool, Freestyle, does a great job. Got some 100 grit here. Nope, that's not it. That's way too coarse. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's sweet. Pretty long piece. Probably going to want to slow this down just a little bit. I'll do that ten and in in a minute, but I wanted to show you uh, what it's going to take to get a halfway decent finish on this. I'm going real light here, by the way. You just really want to touch this, and I'm going to load the paper up. shape. i tell you what's fun is uh, using my lathe tool freestyle, yeah, freehand, freestyle, and uh, well that's how I originally made the, the other piece. I made this shape, I just thought about it, and uh, kind of went along, went slow. I ain't going to kid you, it probably took me 20 minutes to make this shape. And then once I had it, now I've got something, because I can always set up my uh, a master down at the bottom. I can duplicate this anytime I want. That came out really well. That's going to make a nice finish, just a hair more sanding. I can live with that. Beautiful. I don't know what you're looking at there. Let me uh, take this down to... Yeah, they're real close. I'd say within a very little. Uh, that's going to be pretty. I'm going to make three more like that uh, for my spinning wheel legs. Actually, two more. I'm sorry. Got one in the front, two in the back. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep that theme. Well, thanks again for uh, tuning in to My Lay Tool, watching My Lay Tool Freestyle. And uh, yeah, tune in again for more. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And uh, follow the link below if you're interested in that tool. Thank you.